Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to all of you from Mercedes-Benz. Also wishing our friends from the press a very happy new year. 2022 had been a very successful year and we wish the same for all of us achieving new accomplishment for this new year. Well, it's a quite cold day here in Delhi and especially for us coming from Pune, but we have some very exciting announcements and a very hot AMG getting launched today that will surely warm up things very well. The third annual press conference will outline Mercedes-Benz's strategy and roadmap for the Indian market for 2023. This press conference also is special as this is the inaugural one for Santosh in his new role as the managing director and CEO of Mercedes-Benz. So without further ado, may I request Santosh to come on stage and share all the exciting announcement that he has packed for all of us for 2023. Please put your hand together for welcoming Santosh. Over to you, Santosh. Thank you, yeah. Thank you Shekhar. Uh, good afternoon to my media friends and a very happy new year to start this session. I'm really delighted to address all of you in my new role, uh, as Shekhar mentioned. And at the onset, I just want to thank all of you for the continued support to Mercedes-Benz and personally to me over the many years. We have an incredible media fraternity and I look forward to interact with each one of you much more in my new role as such. Well, uh, 2022 was a transformative year for Mercedes-Benz India. We diversified our portfolio, catering to evolving customer requirements, finished a successful year of retail of the future and also created a lot of memorable customer experiences. Our manufacturing powers was again highlighted when India became the first country to do a local assembly of the EQS outside of Germany. The EQS is the most advanced luxury EV uh, and its local assembly is clearly a testimony to the manufacturing competencies we have developed back in Chakan Pune. Many of you have visited, seen how these cars are made along with the combustion engine cars. Well, with the three new EVs launched last year, we have the largest car park now of luxury EVs in India, which means our customers are buying and the overwhelming response to these products is a very clear indication of, of, of preference for luxury EVs in India. We recently accomplished yet another production milestone in India and we celebrated 150,000 made in India Mercedes-Benz cars on Indian roads. In this picture you see along with my colleague Venkatesh who heads production is Dr. Yog Budza. He was here in Pune on 2nd of Jan for this special occasion. It's also quite big in our uh, CKD world to have rolled out so many cars for the market. Also 2022, we achieved the highest ever domestic production in one single year. And this achievement is encouraging because we run a flexible production line with ICE and EV all from the same facility. And we rolled out the EQS again from the same line. In 2022, we also expanded to new brand retail presence across select showrooms and workshops. What you see here is a creation of a dedicated TEV corner. TEV is top end vehicle display. Uh, it consists of S class, the GLS, the Mybox, AMG display, the EQ display corner here. And this is all to provide a very luxury and desirable experience for our customers. Speaking about customer experiences, uh, you know, we have upped the game and we have been giving a lot of money can't buy experiences also in the last year. They range from the F1 paddock club experience to Mercedes trophy participation leading to international finals. I'm really happy to say that two of our Indian customers, they won in the world finals for the first time in the last two decades. It also shows how the game of golf is evolving and with our customers. For our sports enthusiasts, we also had an opportunity to meet Lewis Hamilton and we had a curated evening just three weeks back with the demigod of cricket, MS Dhoni. Our customers are the strongest advocates and these experiences further accentuate their love for the brand. The love and trust for, of our customers is clearly visible in the fact that we lead the Indian luxury car market for eight consecutive year. In 2022, we secured the highest ever market share of 50.6%. This is as per the assessment of sales data available of the luxury car segment today. It includes our two German friends who have already shared the data as of now. So ladies and gentlemen, I am really delighted to announce that Mercedes-Benz India has achieved its best ever year in history. We clocked 15,822 unit sales with a robust growth of 41%. 
This is a historic moment for us in India, and I'm grateful to customers, franchisee partners, and our employees, my colleagues, for making this possible. We believe that this sales number could have been much higher had there been no supply challenges, supply related, all the shortfalls, all the semiconductor issues, and we accept our customers' love and patience with all the humility, and we are grateful for their faith in the three-pointed star. Many of them have been waiting nine months, 12 months to get this car, and we really use this opportunity to thank them for the patience to get their cars. One of the key highlights of our sales success is also the strong growth in the top-end vehicle segment. So if you see, these are two diamonds here. The 2018, we generally refer as pre-COVID, 2022 is the current sales result. Just before pre-COVID, the, the, the top-end luxury segment used to be 12%, which now is at 22%. And this is something really significant that we see in terms of market development. The core luxury remains at 62%. When I talk about the luxury segment, which actually has A-class and GLA, in absolute numbers, we have grown, but of course, the share has reduced. It is also due to the fact that we already produce and sell top-end vehicles even in our luxury segment with the A-Class and the GLA. There are no entry-level models in Mercedes-Benz portfolio. 2022 was also the full year of retail of the future, and it has been nothing short but a tremendous success. Uh, the success of omni-channel platform that is visible, you can already see 2,000 cars we have been able to have booked online. We have delivered a lot of cars. The balance are pending for customer deliveries because of the waiting period. But that again shows how successful our entire model, omni-channel model has been. Our commitment to create customer delight across different facets ensured not only we are number one in sales, but this chart clearly says that we are number one when it comes to connected cars. We are number one when it comes to locally produced cars. We have 14 cars made in Chakan Pune, locally produced. We have the largest SUV portfolio, and more, important, more importantly, we are also closer to the customer with the biggest network in 47 Indian cities, 124 touch points. Last, not the least, the after-sales business, we call it the customer service business, is really important. And here, in an independent survey, the customers have rated 4.8 out of 5. So that's a great result when it comes to customer satisfaction. We are not stopping here. You will see in subsequent slides what do we do more in this area. As we close this most successful year in our history, I can thank you, thank you, India, uh, for making us the most desirable luxury car brand in this market. As we close, the most, uh, you know, the logical question is, what's next? This brings us to the roadmap for 2023. Mercedes-Benz India's business strategy is based on making the three-pointed star more desirable and offer customers an enhanced luxury experience. As you see in this chart, we have six pillars for doing this in India. The first one is think and act like a luxury brand. Second one being focus on profitable growth. Third is expanding the top-end luxury customer base. Embrace customers with seamless journey. Lead in, electric, lead in electric drive and sustainability. And last not the least, improve the supply chain resilience and also focus on future-ready people. All of this we, have, we will be explaining more in detail, but from this strategy emerges our motto for 2023, which is desire for the extraordinary. This simply means that we remain committed to enhance the desirability of our products and services by introducing a lot of customer-centric initiatives. New initiatives, online store, trade-in evaluation, a lot's happening uh, that will excite our customers and continue to keep us as the most desirable luxury brand in this market. Let me explain a bit more in detail now as we go through the first pillar, which is think and act like a luxury brand. In, 20, uh, in this year, we will push boundaries. We will be offering our customers much more memorable ex experiences. It will be a mixture of global events, locally curated, exclusive ex uh, experiences. For example, we are sending 30 customers this month to an upcoming winter drive to the North Pole in Sweden. We are sending another 50 customers to Graz to experience the state-of-the-art track in uh, Austria. We will be also giving around 50-odd customers an experience in an AMG paddock club in Abu Dhabi and Bahrain. And this is not enough. Closer home, we are planning exciting emotion tours for our customers, curated experience in Ladakh, in the mountains of Bhutan, or even in the Andamans. 
I can also say that 2023 will see a comeback of the much loved AMG Driving Academy at the BIC. For our sports enthusiasts, we will have another opportunity uh, for them to meet MS Dhoni, but more on that a bit later. Customer service is the backbone of our success in India and convenience, trust, time and choice will be the focal points for this luxury experience. As you see in this chart, we already are weaving a lot of offerings in the customer service business. Here, we start with dedicated key account managers for Maybach and AMG customers. We will expand our premier express base. Uh, it will be expanded to 12 to 18 facilities across India so that customers can get their car much faster serviced. More importantly, with cars getting connected and digitalization coming in, we will promote a remote online diagnostic support in which we will be able to support a customer sitting out of Pune so that we can diagnose the car and also offer him quick repairs so that he can uh, doesn't need to spend the car in the workshop. So these are some of the initiatives using digital medium to ensure that we are able to increase our service offerings. The second pillar is focusing on profitable growth. We achieve this with a range of product offerings. We will launch 10 new products across our portfolio in 2023. Our much awaited product, the new GLC, will also debut in quarter three of 23. Customers, uh, you know, having a growing preference for top end vehicles, and therefore, uh, this third pillar is focused on these TVs, on what do we do there to expand this portfolio. Our customers are evolving, they have new preferences, and emerging from the two years of pandemic, we clearly see increasing inclination for road travel, self driving and luxury cars are on the top preference. So today, across our product portfolio, we are also seeing customer age coming down. For example, the S-Class customer today is just 38 years old, and average C-Class customer's age is only 35. And this also means that technology is an indispensable part of their daily lives. It determines their purchase decision. The other key demographic shift that we see in luxury car consumption or purchase is a new set of salaried employees and professionals who are opting for luxury and premium vehicles. Similarly, a lot of women customers we see across different customers, we see across different country, uh, different pockets of the country are also preferring to drive Mercedes-Benz cars. This is what gives us confidence of growth and says that this uh, also will be fueled by financing, which becomes a very important part of the mix. So share some updates of our sister concern, which is Daimler Financial Services. So share some updates of our sister concern, which is Daimler Financial Services. It's now rebranded as Mercedes-Benz Financial, and they have a dedicated team at Mercedes-Benz India to provide an integrated customer journey online and offline. We are working to provide personalized offers and solutions, and many of them will be live by mid of this year, and later on, uh, my colleagues in financial services will make appropriate announcements on all their initiatives that they plan to do for 2023. Top end luxury segment also, uh, as I said, is a key focus area. And here, there will be new product introductions. I already mentioned majority of the new product introduc introductions will be in top end vehicles. In fact, uh, if you see this slide, we have a teaser on the G-Wagon here. Uh, we have something more exciting coming up, but I am not in a position to share today. It's just a teaser that we will also do more on this space. But what I can tell you today is that we are here for the launch of one such product, which is a Mercedes-Benz AMG uh, E53 formatic Cabriolet. It's the first Cabriolet in the AMG avatar in India. This new car highlights our vision of bringing highly emotive and desirable products for the Indian customer. The car is a perfect combination of exclusivity, sportiness, and underlines our AMG motto of driving performance. Let's look at a short AV, please. The new E-Class Convertible. Made to shine. Made new headlights and slick rims. Step in. It's luxurious like always. And more digital than ever.
made to be dynamic. More than ever. The new E-Class Convertible. music thank you so much santosh towards your right towards okay. all the photographers on your right gradually and i look towards the left now for all the photographer friends we have sufficient time so don't worry and don't rush thank you santosh can we move to the second pose of opening the door start from your Right hand side, yeah, towards here. Towards your center. Now towards your left. Perfect. Request, can you go on the left center of the car? towards the center, now towards your right. Thank you, we'll have another opportunity of uh, Santosh and the car and yeah. we'll continue the presentation. Back to you, Santosh. Sir, we will we'll yeah, do it once the presentation is over. There are other audience thank is you. waiting. Thank you so much. Request everyone to kindly settle down. Well, thank you. Uh, so here we have the first uh, launch of this year, the Mercedes AMG E53 Cabriolet. Uh, without much ado, I would like to call upon my colleague Jamshid Bada. He heads the product management here to take you through the product asset. So Jamshid, over to you. Thank you, Santosh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Good. and a warm welcome from my end as well. I'm happy to present to you 
the first product launch for the year 2023. As Santosh mentioned earlier in his presentation, this is the first of many exciting new products that we will launch this year. Presenting to you the all new Mercedes AMG 53 Formatic Plus Cabriolet. This car comes to us all the way from our Bremen plant in Germany. It has three distinctive elements in its DNA. The power of an AMG drivetrain, the elegant design of a Cabriolet, and the comfort that is, of course, a given in the E-Class. This is the first time that we will introduce a Cabriolet in an AMG Avtar. The AMG E53 benefits tremendously from the 50 plus years of racing history through the direct involvement of the same teams in its development. From a chassis setup to the fine tuning, this has been orchestrated by fine teamwork between craftsmen, designers, engineers, and racers who drift for one common goal, which is driving performance. The E53 Cabriolet is made for those with a dynamic mindset that doesn't fade even when the sun goes down. This car that you see here today is made to win the night. It belongs to an audience that believes in style and expression by making an indelible impact. The customers who will include and who will buy this car include the hedonists, believers, and multiculturists for whom driving and pleasure go hand in hand without, of course, dry, uh, compromising in any way on the performance. Now, let's have a closer look at what this car has to offer. Of course, it is significantly different from the long wheelbase E-Class that we have here in India. Distinctive elements include the bonnet with power bulges, the signature AMG radiator grille with vertical struts, and the AMG badging that we have out here in the front, striking, striking air intakes with two loads in black mat, and of course, the silver chrome that you see out here, the front splitter. All of these elements add to the sporty look of the car. This car is also equipped with LED high-performance headlamps. Now, if we have a look at what this car has to offer from the side. When the soft top is up, the Cabriolet has a silhouette similar to that of an E-Class Coupe and displays similar expressive proportions with clean lines. There is a turbo formatic plus badging that you can see right here on the front wings. The belt line trim strip that we have is made up of chrome that extends across the car, and the rib on the rear side windows is in high gloss black. This car comes standard with 19 inch AMG five twin spoke alloy wheels that are aerodynamically optimized. The design on the side of the mud flaps that we have out here even further improves the aerodynamics of the car. As a result, it provides better airflow around the wheel arches when driven at high speeds. Now, let's have a look at the rear. When viewed from the rear, it's not just the redesigned rear apron that stands out, but also the classic round twin tailpipes in high gloss chrome. The tailgate is extremely easy to operate with the press of a button in the key. Also, what you have out here is a spoiler lip on the boot lid that is painted in the body color. Now, at the heart of this masterpiece that you see out here lies a new electrified three-liter, six-cylinder inline engine that generates an output of 320 kilowatts with a maximum torque of 520 newton meter. Its EQ boost momentarily provides us with an additional 16 kilowatt of output and 250 newton meter of torque. All of this further more feeds into the 48 volt electric onboard system that we have. All of this provides an acceleration for this car from zero to 100 in just a mere 4.5 seconds. The top speed of this car is 250 kilometers per hour. Now, let's understand a little bit more about the engine that drives this AMG. For enhanced performance, it has a three-stage power boost. First, the intake air is boosted via a twin scroll turbocharger, which is further pumped into the cylinders with an intelligent charging through an electric auxiliary compressor. The engine is also equipped with EQ Boost starter alternator, which is combined functionalities of a starter motor and an alternator in an electric powerful motor as such. The motor is fitted between the engine and the transmission and acts as a mild hybrid. All of this means that the E53 Cabriolet has, of course, the hallmark of an AMG that our discerning customers expect. 
That's not all. It also has improved fuel efficiency and emission norms. The three-liter inline engine is coupled with the AMG speed shift TCT 9G transmission. This impresses with its extremely short shift times, fast response to the shift paddle commands, double declutching function, and multiple downshifts. Whether being driven in a manual or automatic mode, the upshifts and downshifts are implemented instantly that, in, that gives you an exhilarating driving experience. Now, let's have a closer look at the interiors. Of course, again, the interiors are significantly different from the other series models that we have out here, and they are made up of exclusive and luxurious materials with high customization options. Elements out here which are specific to this car include stainless steel sports pedals, the seat belt that we have here in red. We also have the steering wheel in silver chrome. All of these elements include the AMG badging on it. The AMG performance steering wheel with a flat bottom in Napa leather also is unique to this car. The touch sensitive control buttons that we have on the steering wheel respond to the swiping movements which make it easy to operate. The instrument cluster that we have is a 12.3 inch digital screen with the head unit that we have also being of similar size. These two displays blend under one cockpit and give you a seamless experience. The driver can choose from four different displays from classic, sport, super sport and the understated. The heads up display that some of you would have experienced in some of our other cars also comes as standard in this car. The seats out here are integral to this car and are tailor-made to pamper. This has been designed with ergonomic details to the minute level to ensure occupants get the desired level of safety. The seats come with inflatable side cushions, which ensures a strong lateral support and a four-way lumbar support as well to give you a comfortable, enjoyable, sporty drive. Also with this car are 13 high-performance speakers that provide you with an output of 590 watts. They are precisely positioned to ensure a well-balanced and enjoyable sound experience. They are equipped with vehicle noise cancellation and sound preset function that generates a virtual surround sound experience. Now, let's switch on the car and see what it has to offer. So of course, the first thing that hits you, this being an AMG, is the sound that is there in this car. There are five select dynamic drive mode options out here from slippery, individual, comfort, and sport. And as you can see, all of this can be operated from the steering wheel as well. Just makes it easy to operate. The driver can tailor the engine, transmission, suspension, and steering as per his personal preference. Also, there are different drive options out here which range from efficient and comfortable to extremely sporty. As we saw, the lightweight fabric top is a visual gem with high-class appeal. Its qualities fulfill the highest standards in terms of climate and noise comfort, in addition to it being very easy to operate. You can open and close it while driving at up to 50 kilometers per hour. A fully automatic process of opening takes just below 20 seconds. We also have in this car an air cap system specifically developed for our cabriolets. It consists of the electric wind deflector in the front, of the roof frame and an electric wind blocker at the rear. At the press of a button, it can be operated and it reduces the internal turbulence for both the front and the rear passengers. Moving on, the power in this car is transferred to the road by a fully variable AMG performance 4MATIC plus all-wheel drive. This intelligent system combines the advantages of different drive situations. The fully variable torque in this car distributes between the front and the rear axle and ensures that you get an optimal traction while also giving you improved handling and stability in addition to safety. With a 4MATIC Plus, 100% of the torque can be transferred to the rear and the system is so flexible that the distribution is surgically precise and provides traction where it is needed the most. Another key element of this car is the AMG Ride Control Plus. In this suspension, it combines the advantages of all suspensions rolled into one. The multi-chamber air gas suspension out here that we have offers a very broad spread between the most comfortable and sporty setup that adapts to the given load. 
At high speeds, it is lowered to reduce the wind resistance and further increase its stability. When it comes to safety, our cars are uncompromised. The E53 Cabriolet is no different. It is equipped with seven airbags, two in the front, two side airbags, two head airbags, and one knee airbag. This car is Euro NCAP five-star certified. The body structure of this car is made up of die-cast aluminum and structural adhesives that enhance the rigidity while optimizing on the weight. The car is also equipped with a host of active and passive safety features as can be seen on the screen. The large braking system with internally ventilated compound brakes provides a reliable and quick braking that is extremely critical to the AMG. In the front, there are perforated and internally ventilated brake discs with four piston fixed calipers. The look is enhanced further, as you can see, with the AMG that we have on it as well. At the rear is internally ventilated discs with single piston floating calipers that give you the desired braking. Now, one of my personal favorites in this car. Peak performance is no coincidence, and with the AMG track pace, you can accelerate into the world of driving perfection. You can create your own personal race course or select from the available preset options with a push of just a button. Your personal lap and sector timings are recorded automatically with this. Up to specific uh, data points, 80 in number, can be calculated, which ensure an improved driving performance. Some of these include how long did it take you to accelerate from a zero to 100, what is the racing line that you actually took? What is the virtual ghost line that you could have taken to have the best lap time? All of this and a lot more can be delivered through the AMG track pace. Say hello to our virtual race engineer. Now, moving on from upholstery to soft top, you have plenty of designo options that can be individually customized for our E53 customers. The Cabriolet comes in five exciting colors of which three are designo. The car that you see out here is in Designo Opleth White Bright. We also have another two options in Designo, which is Spectral Blue Magno and Patagonia Red Bright. We also have Obsidian Black and Selenite Gray as two other options. The fabric top in this car blends elegantly into the vehicle's silhouette. You can choose from four available options here, black, dark blue, dark brown, and dark red that we have in this car. There are a total of three upholstery options of which two are dual-toned. Black with classic red, black with saddle brown, and of course black with contrasting red top stitching as well. Now speaking of the trim, high performance materials meets high performance vehicle with the AMG carbon fiber trim that we have in this car. In case you need, there are also another couple of options in the form of gray pore open ashwood trim and light longitudinal grain aluminum trim. Standard with this car in terms of the alloys are 19-inch uh, wheels, but also we have an option to upgrade to 20-inch AMG 5 twin spoke alloy wheels as well. These are painted in matte black. This car comes with mixed tires in the front and rear and is made from a special compound that offer advanced safety, excellent handling, brilliant traction, and improved stability in all driving conditions. With that and a lot more, I end this presentation Thank you very much for your patient listening. Before I hand over back to Santosh, can we have the product AV that captures some of the highlights that I spoke to you about?
Well, what a car to launch as a first launch for this year, uh, starting very clearly aligned to our top end strategy. Uh, I can only say now for the price part of it. So the price of this car starts at 1.3 crores. Uh, as always, there will be relevant service and finance packages available with this car for customers to choose from in terms of service package or even financing this car, leasing this car. So that's about the product. Now let me get you back to the strategy. So uh, I started with the first pillar, think and act like a luxury brand. We discussed about focusing on profitable growth. When we spoke about expanding the top-end luxury vehicle, we launched this car because this perfectly fits into our strategy of top-end vehicles as the first launch of the year. Moving on, how do we embrace customers with seamless journey? Here, we introduced the Mercedes Me store a few months ago. The, so this store is available for our customers uh, to subscribe for new product offerings. What do they get here is a flexibility to purchase connected services as per their requirement and duration of choice. I already mentioned we have 79,000 customers in India whose vehicles are connected. Now, the customers here, uh, by, for by, uh, buying the digital products, they can also choose to renew uh, their subscriptions and their services at the end of three years after they have bought the car. The renewal packages, if you see, consist of remote package, navigation package, and excellence package. And uh, these packages start from as low as 7,900 odd uh, because to make it also easy for the customer to subscribe to these packages. The new features also, so a Mercedes-Benz would never get old because customers can always add features. And here, if you see, we have an entertainment package, an adaptive high beam assist, a beginner driver package. Uh, uh, this ensures that if somebody is learning on the car, the speed limits are set uh, so that uh, the car is not damaged. So it's good for a dad to give it to his son or daughter and then maybe configure it. A rear axle steering and an individualization package. So these are different options available for customers to buy. And for the first time, we are adding all these in our online platform uh, uh, also. Coming to uh, a different initiative, we did 2,000 cars. We, were, we had bookings of 2,000 cars in an online store. Now what next? We have revamped this online store now. And for the first time, customers can see cars which are going into production, which means one can book a car in Jan for October, November, December, if the production of this car is going to come in October, November, December. They can have full visibility of this car. Uh, there are a lot of other features for business customers. They want to input their GST, then book the car. All of that is possible. Maybe I will speak less. There is a short AV which explains how the online store, the revamped one works. Can we have the video, please? So uh, we have tried to make it as seamless as possible for customers to book a new car online, offline, omni-channel. Our seamless journey is also not restricted to new customers, but also includes pre-owned car aspirants. We have introduced a new online trade-in module. So in five steps, a customer can go in, check out, uh, he can type in his current car, the date of manufacture, the year of manufacture, the current condition, and he will get a trade-in price immediately in his inbox from our franchisee partner so that he knows now how much extra I need to pay to now to upgrade to a Mercedes-Benz. 
for mercedes benz customers they can drive into our uh, dealerships or to workshop showrooms and here we will be shortly introducing an artificial intelligence powered app it's called an eye evaluation app where using the app one can just go around the car and looking at the condition of the car the app will be able to determine the price of the car and we should be able to give an instant price quote to the customer so a lot of digitalization is in place to enhance the better customer journey uh, also in new cars used cars uh, and also maybe in other areas like accessories moving on our fifth pillar is to lead in electric drive and sustainability at our plant in chakan we are committed to minimize our carbon footprint we run consistent programs to sensitize employees to become environment conscious and responsible our aim is also to go completely paperless in this year and improve our biodiversity index this chart shows all our initiatives as mercedes benz india and we are also fully committed to reduce water consumption and waste by 20% compared to last year so it's an ongoing target and we are fully committed for a sustainable future and you know i am also happy to share here that as of 2022 end of last year mercedes benz india runs 100% on green energy and we will continue to do so so this is again uh, 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 i i think a big achievement all our roofs right now most of them all have solar rooftops and this is again a way to ensure that we go beyond tailpipe emissions and see what next also this plant in chakan is a pioneer in setting up the biodiversity index among the mb world today we host 300 species of flora and 75 fauna in our factory premise yes and now let me clarify that the 75 fauna may not include the leopard who visited us last may uh, yes we played good host nevertheless till the forest authorities took him back as such so true to the sustainability goals this is something big we are doing for the first time now in india that we commit that one third of our franchisee partners will operate on green energy by end of this year so we are extending the responsibility to even our partners and by 2025 our partners are committed to run 100% on green energy this is an important step towards creating a holistic and sustainable road map for our business the next pillar here when it comes to electrification is also about charging and now i am happy to say that we have the largest oem supported ultra fast charging uh, network in the luxury car space in india yesterday we also made an important announcement at ces in las vegas about our intent to establish 10000 high power chargers across the world uh, similarly even we have the solutions in india now our customers get a complimentary ac wall box charger also with their car which many of you know to ease the range anxiety our customers can also avail of 35 chargers now these are fast chargers across the country and happy to say whatever we committed at the time of eqs launch we have delivered we will be providing complimentary charging to all our ev customers up to one year of ownership and yes we have not forgotten the eqc customers who booked our first evs and they will also get complimentary charging for entire 2023 so with this initiatives we continue on a holistic all electric road map with charging solutions located across india maybe a short video to say to show to you how our customers are experiencing charging already can we have the video please <laughs> there was a lot of availability of electric chargers both fast chargers and normal chargers and uh, we received extensive support even from the new dc charger which has been put in place which charges the car phenomenally fast in about an hour hi my name is arya the mercedes benz eqb is the first ev in my eq journey and to make life easier i use the dc charging facility at the amg performance center bangalore while i wait i get to relax and enjoy a cup of coffee at the mercedes cafe as delivering to our commitment of setting up a charging infrastructure this is not a full stop this is a comma because we'll continue to expand this with ourselves and with our partners 
Coming to the last pillar of our strategy, this says improve supply chain resilience and future ready people. Let me spend some time to tell you that we are working closely with our colleagues in Stuttgart to do everything possible to increase our supply chain resilience. We are airlifting parts, cars, operating second shift. In fact, in some of the functions, we are also operating the third shift right now so that we can maximize production efficiency. We expect the situation to improve in 2023, and our biggest goal is to ensure that we bring down the waiting period for Mercedes-Benz cars from four to nine months to at least two to three months' time. Coming to the last, not the least, uh, I would say the very big topic is a gap in people. We, we, we fully believe that, uh, we firmly believe that we need future-ready people in, at, at our organization in Pune as well as at our franchisee partners. Today, many of you know that there is a significant gap that exists in terms of luxury expertise in our retail network, and we have decided to take steps to address this gap. In an industry-first initiative for franchisee partners, we have associated with IIM Ahmedabad to ensure that we curate a one-year program for our retail staff wherein they actually get professional coaching and they, they are fully geared up to take care of today's demanding luxury retail market. So this is again trying to ensure our customers get a better experience by, up, uh, by upskilling our franchisee partners and our teams uh, in retail locations. As far as MB India is concerned, we have implemented programs with LinkedIn Learning, skilling our employees in new age requirements, be it data science, industry 5.0, electrification. We are also working on diversity of workforce to ensure a holistic growth in our company culture. So ladies and gentlemen, this is, I would say, it, it takes me to the end of the third annual press conference. Uh, 2023 promises to be an exciting year for Mercedes-Benz India as we embark on our quest to deliver desire for the extraordinary. We do not stop at these achievements here, and we will keep pushing the limits for our customers, for our colleagues, and for the market. With this, I end my presentation and leave you with a short AV. Look forward to interacting with you closely in the coming years. Thank you.